14 Ghanaian men have been deceived to go fight the Russia-Ukraine war. Right now, they are crying. According to them, their agent actually deceived them into that. If this is your first time, I can't subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button so that you get notified whenever we post any videos. If you want to buy a land or a house in Ghana, we have properties available for sale. If you want to book me for consultation, if you want me to help you with due diligence when buying a property in Ghana, if you want a company to handle your building project, we have such also available. Just check in the description of the video, you get a number that reach us. This is one of the saddest stories I've just heard today or yesterday. And this was reported by TV3 News. You know, everybody wants to travel. And uh, this is just sad that these days things don't go on well. I just discussed about how Nigerian, la Nigerian lady deceived another lady into this country and be using her for um, prostitution. And right now, I'm sharing with you this that happened to 14 Ghanaian men. Eh? People with families, people with wives and children. 14 men, they were deceived to pass through Togo to go uh, to Russia and go and join the Russia and Ukraine war. They didn't know they were going for war. According to them, their agents deceived them that their security and agriculture job. So that is what they were going to do. Only for them to reach there and the thing has changed. According to what they are narrating, the agent actually knows about it. Because the agent deceived them that they, they are going to do the security and agriculture job and that when they are going to do those jobs, it is the military that will train them. So they will definitely sign a contract. So if the military people bring a contract, they should sign. And when the military people brought the contract, they called this agent. That time, according to them, the agent was at Moscow. He wasn't there uh, uh, with them. So they called the agent to actually confirm that this is the document. I don't understand it. Would you, would you, know, you know read the thing? Okay, it could be in Russian language. Maybe it's not an English language. So how could they have read it? But if it is in English language and they didn't read it, then that is really sad for them all. So they called the agent and I told him that this is the document that they brought or is the military people that brought it. Should we sign? And then the agent said, ah, they should sign now. Don't they trust him? They should sign. Now, come on. So they signed the document and that is it. Though. 14 people. Right now, it's only three people that you can just hear about them. The remaining ones were all taken to war. They don't know whether they are living or they are dead. Whether they are alive or they are injured, nothing. Nobody knows that. Even these three that they are, are still available. They are just lying at one of the dirtiest places you can ever think about, all in the name of fighting the Russian-Ukraine war. This is one of the things that you have to be very careful of. If you have a family member who is about to go to Russia, huh? it's about to go, say he wants to go to Hassel, and he got to Russia, he's going there. Careful, not only Russia, Ukraine, careful, not only that, Israel, careful. Those places, is, they are no go areas. You go there, that you are going to Hassel. The time that they are throwing, boom, 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 they are throwing this, you understand? This uh, uh, firearms and things, you are talking about going to work over there. Hey, people have had to. Now they are trying to get the agent to even listen to the agent side of the story, car. the agent is not responding. And that's one of the saddest things. Right now, we just plead that if only there is a good international relationship between Ghana and Russia, then Ghana should be able to reach out to its embassy over there to actually go save them. This it's not probably what they were signed for and they have been deceived. Well, it's just a plea. They have to actually plead because they have signed a document. And if you sign an agreement, you cannot just walk out like that. This is military rule. Aha. Uh -huh. So, but it's sad. Why would they want to involve people from other countries? Is that how they've been doing it? I, according to what I always watch and I, I just know that Russia is doing very well. But why is it you know, that they have to be deceiving people to actually get them there. Or it is, is it that the agent that actually took them there was the problem? Or they themselves were the problems and they couldn't, you know, stand it. Now they are changing their map. What is actually the issue? These are things we actually need to look into when these kind of issues come on board. And it is so sad. Just warn your family, warn your friend. Someone, even when the, one of them say it, the family doesn't even know that he has traveled. So imagine, if you know that someone will travel, that is when you even advise them. So right now, you don't even know in your family member who, you, who wants to travel, who don't want to travel. How would you be able to advise them? This is very sad, and it is just something you need to be very careful when you are thinking about travel or Japan. Though the Ghana is hot, but nobody will ever want to put himself in a hotter place. Sometimes you reach some countries and you wish that you were in Ghana. Ghana is better.
<laughs> so guys if this is your first time you can subscribe to the channel don't forget to press the bell button so that you get notified whenever we put any videos if you want to book me for consultation about real estate or business in ghana i'm available if you want to buy a land or house in ghana we have properties for sale if you also want to book me for due diligence i'm also available for that and if you want to the company that will you know handle a building project in ghana we have a reputable company that is into that just check the description of the video again my number there reached me my name is Simo Rosadat. you're welcome to business trends ghana right there Mede o mede. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to Talking Business.